how to handle your long line. So if anyone has ever struggled using a long line, I get it. They are really, really awkward to handle a lot of the time. They become all tangled up um, and they end up just a jumbled up little mess in your hands. So first thing you want to do is make sure there aren't any knots in it. Get all the knots out. I know they're like headphones. You put them away when they're all nice and unknotted. You get them out and they're all knotted up. Um, but just get all those knots out and you want to hold the end in your hand and you're going to make a little L shape with your arm. Put your thumb out and you're going to tightly wrap the long line around your arm like this. So I have one end here and I have the coil here and I have the other end here. And you want the length in one hand and the coil in the other hand. And how we handle it is you're going to have the coil attached, oh sorry, the length attached to your dog. So I'm just going to attach this to the fence here as if it's my dog. So here's my dog over here and you want to give them some line so coil is in one hand length is in the other and I'm allowing the length to go through my hand like this as the dog goes away coil is over here if you have it in a coil it becomes really really easy for you to give out more length and as your dog um, wants to be collected so as you want to get closer to your dog or shorten that long long line you just recoil it as you step in so you always have coil in one hand length in the other. So the main bulk, bulk of the long line is in this hand and in your um, other hand you kind of want it just to feed through and then if you need any control you can just grab onto it here. So you let it out by releasing a bit at a time of the coil and you collect it by making your way up the long line back to your dog and re-looping it. So out and recoil it and back and you want nice good loops in your coil you don't want it to be too tight to your hand because it might end up constricting your hand so you want nice decent loops in your long line and then when it comes to putting it away so that it doesn't get all tangled up we're gonna do that same trick so arm out like this wrap it all the way up make sure it doesn't have any knots or anything in it and then when we have this loop like this all we're going to do is we're going to take the lead end and we're just going to give it a little bit of length here so we have the loop here and the lead length here we're going to wrap it around the coil like this and then we're going to go through the top bit and we have it all wrapped up like this. When I'm going out and I'm carrying a long line, I then clip this onto my belt and I don't have to worry about it flapping around. If you want to put it away, what I would do is make sure you have a little bit more length on it, wrap it through the top like this, like we did before, and then I'll just clip it back on so that you know it's not gonna tangle up. So that is literally ready to go with a coil and a length when you get your dog out next time. So you just wrap it up, go round the middle, through the top, tighten it up like this and then just clip it back on, chuck it in your car and it's not going to all get tangled up this time. Have fun with your long line guys.